Hey guys. Oh, that was jarring. Let's do something a bit different today where today, instead of taking out with it to take photos or showing you a piece of gear that I've got, I'm going to show you what I do when someone buys a print from my website and I get it and I send it out. First thing I'll always do is I always get photos ready in TIFF files because that's what they require. And to make life easier for them, I size it up already based on the customer's order. All right, I've got a range of sizes available they can choose from. So they literally pick the size, pick the picture, pick the size they want, and I get it ready. I use a company called Next Face Fine Art Printing down here in Sydney, and they've always done an amazing job. I can't fault them at all. I'll actually, I'll put a link to them in the description below if you guys want to check them out as well, if you have your own prints you want to do. I've been using them for, jeez, nearly a year now, I'd say. Yeah, probably close to a year that I've been using them and every time they've done an amazing job. Their service is amazing. Their print jobs are amazing. This is what they send me, which I always get it sent to me first just as a bit of a fail safe more than anything. It's not I don't trust them, but I want to see exactly what the customer is getting at the end of the day. In this particular case, this customer has also requested that I sign this photo for them as well. All right, which if you know you do want to do that, you can just send me an email when you get the order confirmation and I'll send it through to you. Beyond that, there's not much more I can really say. I'll just what I'll do is I'll just show you exactly what I do when I get this in the mail and then how I try and package it up to send off as well. I do reuse most of the stuff that comes from them because they've got all the good stuff and I use pretty much how they pack it as a sample as to how I should pack it. So first things first, always have a knife. Easiest way to cut it open. Make sure I don't cut myself. Keep that. And here's, no, oh, let's just get that out of the way. You can tell they put their name on it. And here's the print. So, this print is actually the one you see right here above my head. It's a panel I did, I don't even know how long ago now, down at Kirribilli, my favorite spot when I don't, don't have anywhere new to go. And this particular customer has chosen a 60 by 20. That packaging paper, whatever it is, is gonna be used to rewrap it and put it in a brand new tube, which I'll then take to the post office. So one thing I'll do is I'll always get my phone out and I'll go over this with a light just to make sure there's no blemishes, there's no dots or like dust spots or anything that should be there. And I also wait, well, right now it's a bit dark, but I'll wait till tomorrow. I'll show you how I package it, but I'll wait till tomorrow and then look at it during daylight to make sure that it looks fine as well. This is printed on lots of paper. Print, turn it around so you guys can see it. There is a bit of a shine and a gloss to it, depending on the lighting, right? which I find for most of my photos is the best way it comes out. I've tried different types of paper from matte to the luster, semi-gloss to glossy. Glossy, I think works best for like nighttime shots where you really want to show off the lights in the city. But for most of my golden hour like this one, luster works best. And for matte, I think that's mostly black and white, but I don't really do that much in black and white, so I don't have a lot of mats. For signing it, I know a lot of professionals use these particular type of pencils that you can get. I've literally used a Sharpie because I've tested it on a few page, on a few prints before. It does stick, it doesn't smudge. I don't worry about it smudging during shipping or anything like that. And because I don't know what their sort of frame and glass they're gonna be putting it in, I don't want it to smudge there as well. I know it's not, the most artistic way of signing it maybe but it's it's a way that works for me and the customer's happy with it i'm happy using a sharpie because i know it's permanent it's not going to go anywhere and it's always done me right i can't i can't fault sharpie and i've used sharpies for 15 million other things not just signing photos as well oh, bear with me one second i want to sign it and i don't want to stuff it up because if i do then i've got to go get a new print done which i'd rather not And so that is how the print will be sent out now with it signed off, right? All of all prints, oh, stay still, please. 
There you go. Can you see that sign? Yes, you can. So all prints that I send out, they all have a white border around it because that way, if you do want to put it in a frame or a matte board, the actual image itself doesn't get cropped. If you want to use a bigger matte board or frame and crop the image, that's perfectly up to you. I've got no beef with that. But that is the finished product. So I'm going to let that dry for a little bit more. And then once I am certain that it has dried, I'll show you how I package it up and send it off to the customer. Well, I want to actually take you with me to the post office, but I'll get it ready in the tube. Ink has dried off. So I'll move this gently out of the way. untangled the packing paper because like I mentioned earlier it's going to be used again All right, the reason the reason I reuse the packing paper is from what I've seen it, it's going to get all scratched up and whatnot in shipping plus there's no need for me to bin this paper go get new paper to do exactly the same job All right, if it's a case where like in this case the tube will fit perfectly then this is perfectly fine, but if I do need, if I do have a bigger tube and I'm worried it's going to shake around a bit because it has happened before, I'll chuck in a bit of extra paper or bubble wrap even just to, I'd rather play it safe and earn the side of caution and make sure that there's too much packaging instead of not enough because when it gets to you guys, you know, when you buy one, it's not damaged because if it's damaged, you know, let me know and I'll replace it for you straight away because it's not your fault if the shipping companies damage it. Yeah. Because this one's a panel, it's a bit harder to, to fold up. But I will do my best. If I was smart, I would have gotten this tube ready beforehand. Clearly, I'm not smart enough to do that. But that is now ready to go. That goes in the tube. That spare packaging from earlier is ready to go as well. But that's pretty much it. This is now ready to go. I'm just going to tape up the ends so that way I don't have to worry about these things falling off. That's nicely packed in there, ready to nice and tight. It's not going to slide around and get damaged in any way, shape or form. And that's it. It's a ni nice, simple process. I am working on putting together things like thank you cards and whatnot when I start making, when I start getting more photos ready for print. And that's a work in progress. When that's ready, you guys will see it as well. But that's pretty much how I get our print ready to go to the customer. As you can see, cardboard is very dirty. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. I'm not going to do anything to the tube. Don't do anything to the tube. If you do have any questions about the prints, how I ship it, whatever the case may be, leave a comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you would like to, make sure you stay, in, stay up to date with more videos that are coming out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and tick on that little bell. Right, that way you get a notification whenever a new video is out. But I'll stop fidgeting with this because this belongs to a customer now, not me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.